Hello everyone, my name is Charlotte and I am the owner and designer of the Coalition for Fashion. And in this video I'm going to be making this vest here. It is part of my Aries collection. It features a zipper in the front and it has my hand dyed lining. And then I did a little bit of a diamond quilting powder on the side panel and the back laces up and then it has a little pleated bustle thing over the back. And so let's get to it. So sometimes I don't start with a sketch and I draw right on the fitting muslin pinned to my dress form, which works best when you don't have a dog dramatically sighing in the background. I took Tessa out to play for a bit and then I got back to work. I decided I'm going to arch the hem up in the back and do a little pleated back bustle look and lacing with large grommets. I cut the muslin out on the new design line I drew and then I just used that as the pattern. Then I grab the fabric, some pattern weights, and my rotary blade and I get started. With a water-soluble marker that I had previously checked to make sure was not permanent, I drew all the lines that I needed to stitch to quilt the lining to the fabric.
I decided it would be easier to attach the zipper at this part of the process, so I did that. And then I added two little simple stitching lines to the front panel. Then onto the back, I sewed the right sides together, I flipped it, ironed it, and had stitched to the back. And then I planned out where the grommets were going to go and possibly some boning channels. I decided not to actually add the grommets until later, which was a great decision because the next thing I did was grab the piece sitting next to it on the sewing table, finish that piece, attached it to the back piece, then And look at me, sewing like I know what I'm doing, not taking a moment to actually look at the shape and wondering why it doesn't look right. Yep. And then I notice it. Then I grab Jack the Ripper and I completely undo it because that was wrong. It was not the side back piece, it was actually the other back piece. So I had to undo the whole thing. Then I get back on track and I sew it together the right way and finish the lining seams. Next, I put together a little pleat for the back, kind of just making it up as I go along, trying to get as much of it in the scrap part of the fabric as possible. I then pin the pleat down so nothing moves, and I cut, hoping for the best. And I use that piece to cut the mirror image for the other side of the jacket. I pleat it back up and I attach it to the bottom of the jacket. I put it on my dress form to check.
like. Alright, so here is this mostly done. This kind of bows out really weird. I don't like it. So I think I'm going to undo part of this and then these last two pleats kind of just make it maybe come around a little bit. Um, I'm going to try it on one side and see if I like it. If not, we'll try something else. I fixed that and I liked it better now. So then I go ahead and I finish the bottom hem of the lining and I add the binding to the hem. And lastly, I put my grommets in and I lace it up. So now it's time to put it on an actual human so that you can see what it looks like. I am super pleased with the way it turns out. I love the lacing and I love the little pleated part in the back that kind of bustles out a little bit. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching me make this vest. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day.